Come here. Look what I made you last night. What is that? Whose dress is that? My dress. Cause who are you dressing up as? Uh, who wears a long green dress? Yep. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you want to try it on? Yeah. See if it fits? And look what else I got you. Yeah. I got you a crown. You got me my crown and you got me some I made ears. some ears for you. Some ears for me. Right, so it will get you all ready after breakfast? Yeah. Cool. Oh hey there Mr Shrek's outfit. Look at Charlie with his tights on. Nice roll neck jumper. Stop messing up with my oven, you rascal. Hey, are you a rascal? Okay, get that. <laughs> right, and now Ella just had her breakfast, but we're going to sit and do your face paint, aren't we? Because you're really excited to get that done. Yeah. So, I've got brushes. Yeah, I've got a Snazaru and a Smithy's couple of uh, face paints. I put that one on. I get my green face now. Yep. Yep. Do I need to close my eyes? Mm -hmm. Do I need to close my eyes? Yeah, it'd probably be a good idea if you could close them. Okay. Can I see if it's green? What it is green, Mummy? Can you look at it? You gave me like Fiona? Yeah. You gave me like Fiona? You gave me green ears? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's tickling. Is it? Yeah. Is it that a green face? Does she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? <laughs> he always needs a green nose. He always needs a green nose. Do I actually have a green face? You do actually have a green face, yeah. And the green eyes. Hmm? Can I see what you can I see what you're doing? Can you open your eyes, right? Yeah. Keeps it on. That keeps it on, yeah. All nice and on. So Fiona's just had her hair all spread. Sure you have, Fiona? You need to wait for it to dry in and then we're going to put your outfit on. Are you excited? Yeah, it No, you've not, not seen yet. Come on, we'll put your costume on. Now you can see it. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. <laughs> right, let's see you then. Let me have a wee look at you in the camera. <gasps> Hi, Princess Fiona. Do you want to see in the mirror? Yeah. Ah, I love it. I like it. I, <laughs> Do you? I like it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Mwah, love you, Princess Fiona. <laughs> what do you think of your hair? Go look at your hair. It's a different colour. Is it? I have a different colour. He looks so good. I still have my earrings in. You still have your earrings in, yeah, because you're a princess. Princess Fiona. Do you like pina coladas? And getting caught in the rain? Can I take a picture of you now? Yeah. Right. Let me see. I cannot believe how much you look like Fiona. Are you an ogre? Yeah. My little ogre. You get lipstick in your teeth. I didn't think that was ever something I was going to say to you at three. <laughs> Mommy, Gorgeous. Can I go and do Charlie's now? Yeah, let's go and do Charlie's. Come on then. Hi. Right, I've just popped on Moana while Charlie has a little relax and watch. I'm dying to get his done, but I feel like he is a a live wire <laughs> so if I do his it may end up all over the couch and everything so I'm going to go and get ready just now let them watch Moana and then when I'm ready I'll then do him last before we leave right we've got the boy distracted by snacks and I am going to attempt to make you look like Shrek Charlie do you want to look like Shrek? Donkey! I did that, no touch good boy Okay. Want to look like donkey? Like Shrek? Shrek! Yeah. Want to look like Shrek, yeah? Good 
Good boy. Right, I have no idea how I've done it, but I've managed to paint his face. <laughs> He's missing a little bit down there, but I need to get his hair green. So we're going to try and take him outside and do it. Shrek's not enjoying himself, are you? Are you not having a good time? I don't cry. Charlie! I don't cry. Are you Shrek? Are you Shrek? Want to go and see Nana? Let's go and see Nana. Where Shrek's been crying. Right, so that's us ready. Mr. Shrek has been crying, so he's got two big massive lines down his face. Miss Fiona's ready to go and see Nana before we go to nursery, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And Charlie's having a night over the phone, so this should be interesting. Are we crowns falling off? Do you want me to fix it? <laughs> Let me fix it properly. <laughs> you are a queen girl, straighten your crown. <laughs> We've just dropped Ella at nursery and now Charlie's gotten bath, haven't you? Hey? Let's see your face, Charlie. Let me see your face. Look at mum. Charlie, look at mum. Yeah. What happened to your face? I don't care. Were you crying? Go cry. Yeah. Char Charlie, cry. Go oof oof You do it. You rascal. Bath time in the afternoon and get all the green off you. My hands are so dirty as well, so let's get them all washed. Are you all done now, nice and clean? Charlie, Charlie. <gasps> Who did the poo in the bath? I don't know what. Did you do the poo in the bath? The up. Went up? Okay. Right, so Charlie's just going for a nap and I have started cleaning up because the whole place just was in a bit of a chaotic mess and because this house is bigger than the last house, I feel like it doesn't always look as messy, like cluttered as what the other house did, but when you start to look at each room, room by room, how much stuff's in it that should be there, there's more than you expect there to be, if that makes sense. Like, that probably doesn't make any sense, actually. What I mean is, like, for example, there's boxes over there that aren't supposed to be there. There's stuff on top of it. There's stuff at the bin you can take now. I've even got, like, my laptop and all that sitting here. My can of I'm Brew Extra, obviously, because that's what's fueling me at the moment. Um, yeah, there's just, like, bits and pieces that are in the wrong places. Like, dishwasher needs empty. That stuff's, like, guddily in the living room. There's loads of stuff. So, I'm trying to get the place back in order. But my neighbour came over, Sarah, she's such a lovely girl, um, and gave me these two bags of Halloween goodies. It's so, it's so cute. When she left, I realised that she'd deliberately given two separate bags because this one's, like, baby kind of snacks and, like, ones that are appropriate for Charlie. And then this one is, like, a kiddies one for Ella's kind of age group. How nice was that? So yeah, she didn't have to do that, it was so, so kind. So she's handed them in, which is such a lovely thing to do. And I just realised that we have not got enough stuff for tonight if people come to the door. So Fraser is going to go to the shop on the way home. We're probably going to carve the pumpkin tonight. I could hardly speak there. We're probably going to carve the pumpkin tonight. <laughs> um, and that's what we're going to do tonight, probably before dinner time. And my mum has gone to pick Ella up from nursery. So yes, Charlie's having a nap. I'm trying to tidy up. Friends is on in the background, so it's totally like, lifting the mood. And I feel like after tonight, after like tonight is done, it's officially Christmas time and I cannot wait. I'm absolutely buzzing to get into like the Christmas spirit. So yeah, cannot wait for it. I'm excited. In fact, wait a minute. It's like four weeks until we put our Christmas tree up. Oh my god. <laughs> Come out. Oh no way. It's an ogre. Where's Ella? Are you Ella or are you Princess Fiona? Uh, what have you done with Ella? Where is she? It's inside the face paint. Oh, <laughs> right. I thought you were the real Princess Fiona there. It's inside oh, it. Oh, it's silly me. Is you Ella, look amazing. Is Ella beneath all that? Yeah, isn't it? Do you love your outfit? Do you want to stay like that for the rest of your life? Yeah. yeah. You really suit it? I said to How much so just sit the auburn hair? Put the big light on. It's so long how she said skin, skin and auburn hair. Hey Fiona. Amazing. What's up with my oh. eyeshadow daddy? Amazing. You look great pal. Did you say thanks to mum? Thanks to mum. You're welcome. Did you think of your, <laughs> your costume Ella? Ella, what do you think of your costume? What do you think of your costume? Do you? How much? 
So she's taking all up with her, isn't she? So grown up because she can wear a full face of makeup. <laughs> Els. Go and sing the song to Daddy. What was the song we were practicing? Yeah. Hey now, you're up. Yes, Shrek. Shrek's name actually. Shrek disappeared down the, the plug hole of the bath. Did he? Yeah. Can't, can't Shrek did a poo in the bath. <laughs> well, we were talking about when the ogres were in the mud bath and they were doing what? What were they doing? Pimps? <laughs> Guys, if you don't follow me over on Instagram, then first of all, right, pause this video, head to Instagram and follow me. You have to pinky promise you're going to do it because you can't break a pinky mm. promise. And what I was going to talk to you about was a recipe that I'd shared over there on Insta Stories. It's the easiest, easiest thing ever. It's basically like a meatball, spaghetti meatball pasta, tray bake type of idea, right? It's the easiest thing. So literally all you need to do is get yourself some spaghetti. Oh. If I'm making it for the kids then I will literally just like crack it into like shorter pieces and um, just saves me trying to like cut it on the other side so I'm doing pieces kind of like that sort of a length because it's easier for them to eat. So crack some of that into an oven proof dish like this and then what you want to do is get yourself a couple of tinned tomatoes like this. If you're doing a big one then you need two of them. So you're going to get two of them and pour it in. Oh no! These are Italian cherry tomatoes. <laughs> Wrong thing. I think I could just mash these up actually. Hang on. So once you have used two tins, two tins is for a big dish of it, um, two tins of cherry tomatoes or like tin tomatoes, whatever, just top up the can to the brim with boiled water. And then that kind of gets the last of the tin out as well and then you pour it in, that's right Elle, you pour it in until it's all nice and covered like so. Just use this wee fork to gently just press that around okay. Oh just gently now, not splashing it everywhere. Just gently. Is that my dinner to eat? Just be tasting. <laughs> Just pretend. Just pretend. Finished. And then, no, it's not finished. Right. So, okay, hold on. Right. And then, you want to put on your oven to about 220 um, on the fan. And then, what we're going to do. Is get our meatballs, which are going to be raw. So a pack of raw meatballs. I've got 24 here. I might just make the whole lot and then just freeze the rest and yeah. um, keep it for like batch yeah, mommy, cooking. Just do that. Just do that then. <laughs> You're gonna buy it. No, put all of them and buy tip them out. Okay. Hmm. Tip them out, mommy. I'll tip them out. Okay. Well, do you um, just tip them? Pardon? Should I just tip them? Yeah. Wait, hang on then. <laughs> What's your sleeve? One. Ella says just tip them all in, we'll freeze the rest. One, two, three, four, go! Oh. Ah! <laughs> Daddy's hat's just caught a couple of splashes, sorry about that Dad. Right, like that. And then I'm going to use two plates to cover this one. Two plates on top of it to kind of keep the steam in and that's what cooks the meatballs instead of having to fry them. And the raw pasta will make in the sauce and it'll just be like perfect. Right, let's get our Halloween stuff all sorted yeah. shall we? Let's what decorate. Where's that? We'll put these at the front porch. A skeleton! Wait, let's put these at the front porch, okay? A skeleton, like we'll put that, where we'll put it. Right, I've put some stuff outside, but I've brought in Ella's pumpkin, so we're going to carve that with Charlie, he's just woken up. 
Um, but back to the dinner prep. So, oh, funny. This has literally just come out. It's better with grated cheese, admittedly, but I only had these little slices of mozzarella, so I've just like popped them on top. 25 minutes did it for that, so I'm quite pleased. The meatballs are cooked through, so I'm just going to pop in some garlic breads around the bottom, put this back in for about five, ten minutes, and then it'll all be ready. That's very good. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to put the lid on it? Let me see. Let me put it on like that. So it's Incy Wincy Spider. Wow! Let me get you yum yums now, Sam. Fraz is taking over because I'm absolutely rubbish at um, <laughs> going within the lines. It's actually more difficult than you think. It's like really hard. Do it. I, I like knocked them in the way uh, when I was trying to press them out. I just looked at the end of the. Oh! Wait, why your face? Oh, look at your face! <laughs> because you're gonna lie. That's cool. Ah! Oh, goodness sake! I scared you. You did. Ah! Oh. Right, this is dinner complete. I mean, I don't know how appetizing that looks, but um, it tastes pretty good. So I'm gonna get stuck in while Fra does the rest of the. Oh, that was good. Nice extraction. <laughs> Well, Fred does the rest of this. Right, we've got our little bowl here with all our pre-made bags. With this little light that I had from last year. I actually forgot I had all this stuff. I just found it in the garage, so that's kind of making like lights all over the wall. And then out here, we have got the best pumpkin carving you'll ever see <laughs> in your life. And then a few wee bits and pieces like that. And then a skeleton on the door. <laughs> oh! Wow! Spooky, spooky! Bath time! How can we? Wow! Is this cool? Do you want me? And then we'll do your bath bomb. Oh wow! Take it back. I've got it here. Are you ready for bath bomb? Yes. Ready. Wow, that smell good? Hmm? Mm. Mm. Wow. 